All right, in this video, I'm gonna show you how to create a birthday advertisement on Facebook. It's really, really powerful what you can do targeting-wise on Facebook with people celebrating a, or about to celebrate a birthday. So what we're gonna do is create an ad. And the type of ad I would do is engagement, the post engagement here. And we're gonna name that birthday celebration. And we're gonna click save draft. And also, I just created a Facebook beginners uh, ad, uh, Facebook ads for beginners tutorial. I'll link it up here. Just uh, check up here. It's like a 40 minute training. I go from A to Z, completely how you lay out everything. Um, you could watch the video alongside creating your own ad and just kind of pausing and going along with it. And you should have your ad up within an hour. So watch that video up above. Uh, so what we're going to do, okay, this looks good. We're going to click on these four uh, squares right here. This is your ad set level. This is where you choose your targeting, your demographic, your zip code, and things like that. So we, uh, we're we not going to name it right yet. Uh, we could probably, you could get started for a couple dollars, two to three dollars. You'd probably still get results, but we're going to go with five dollars for right now. And then what you're going to do is you're going to want to type in your business address right here. Uh, this would be the best way. And then you can do a radius, a 5 mile, 7 mile, 10 mile, 12, 15, 20 mile radius. Um, I don't have a, I'm going to go with my zip code here. You could also do zip code targeting, maybe two or three zip codes surrounding areas from your local business. This would work great for restaurants, bars, pubs, um, even hair salons, nail salons, uh, massage uh, massage therapists this would work for, dentists I could see this working for, chiropractors you could see this working for, uh, quite a few local businesses, certainly anything uh, anything retail to get them uh, to drive traffic into the to your store, offer them a 50% off coupon, you know, offer them a free ice cream cone, offer them a free meal, a free drink, a free dessert, whatever it is. Uh, so also, uh, like I said, if you don't have the address, well, you'll have the address, but you can also drop a pin. So since I don't have an exact address, I'm just going to pretend I'm going to drop a pin. I'm going to say our restaurant is right here. Let's zoom in a little bit. Uh, and you can change the radius here. So you can just kind of adjust it here. Or you can click on right here and let's say eight mile radius. So we're doing an eight mile radius. We'll scroll down and we'll put, select the age. This is completely up to you. I'm just going to do, for this example, we'll do uh, 25 to 55. And then what you're going to want to do is go down to detailed targeting and you're going to type in upcoming birthday. And what this is, is Facebook is going to show your ad to people who have a birthday in the next seven days. And what's really, really powerful about this ad is you're going to run this ad for a year. Uh, because every seven days it's going to be a new group of people, a new group of people, a new group of people. And the real power is people are going to like, comment, and share on this ad, and they're going to continue liking, comment, and sharing. So you're building up that social proof over time. So in three months, this is going to be quite a powerful ad. In six months, nine months, 12 months later, it's going to be a really, really powerful ad. And theoretically, you could probably just run this thing for years over and over and over again because people aren't going to remember that they saw it a year ago on their birthday, or they're going to be happy. Oh, yeah, I remember I went and got a slice of pizza, an ice cream cone, a free massage, uh, free teeth whitening, something along those lines. So that's what's really powerful about this ad. And really, like I said, a couple dollars a day, maybe $5 a day, not a lot of money, $150 a month. And this is going to definitely, definitely bring you uh, business because people love celebrating their birthday. I'm going to scroll down here, edit placements. Again, I like to just run it on the news feed. So we're going to run it on the desktop news feed and also the mobile news feed. I'm going to scroll down and then nothing else. I'm not going to touch anything else. I'm going to let Facebook do its work here. And then what we're going to do is we're going to go over to this little box and we're going to click here. So this is the ad level. This is where we're going to create our ad. We're going to name it here. You know what? I didn't name that ad set here. So let's just go back real quick. If you watched the last video, you know I kind of do it a little backwards. I, I fill out everything, then I name the ad. So what we're going to do is upcoming birthdays. 10, oh no, it's an eight mile radius, eight mile radius, mobile, desktop. And then like I said, I always like to put the date here, the date I started the ad. All right, let's go back to the ad. And we'll say, I already have the image ready, birthday cake. We're gonna select the fan page. I actually have a birthday one, Las Vegas Birthday Club. And then we're gonna scroll down and we're gonna create ad here. And you're going to want to select an image. You might be able to find one. Let's say, let's look for stock images. Birthday. Might be able to find one in here. 
You should be able to find one in here, actually. They have quite a few. Oh, yeah, a ton of them. Let's look for a catchy one. I like the birthday cake. Yeah, we'll use this one. Again, there's quite, there's quite a few choices here. And we're going to scroll down a little bit here. And then the text here is going to be uh, the text above the ad up here. So uh, again, if you didn't watch the previous video, there's a mobile. This is the mobile preview. This is what it's going to look like on a cell phone. And don't worry, these watermarks will not be there when you launch it. Uh, they just show it in the preview mode. But, but when the ad is actually live, you, the, these watermarks are not there. Uh, I like looking at the desktop. It's just a little bit bigger. So come celebrate your special day at, we'll go Adam's Pizzeria. Enjoy a free slice of pizza and free dessert. Mention the coupon code my b-day something like that and you don't need a call to action button because again this is a branding play you're not sending them anywhere you're not driving them to your website i guess you could do that uh, but there's really no need to do that this is just kind of a branding play um, and that's it that is it so here i, I created a demo ad um, this demo ad, basically the same thing. Celebrate your big day at adam's pizzeria enjoy 50 percent off your entire meal use the coupon code my birthday very, very similar to this one. So that is one angle you could do. Uh, the other angle is, let's go back out here, back to the ad set level. We're going to create a new ad set. And I'm just typing demo for now, save to draft. This is another angle, same birthday celebration. It's just a little bit different uh, when you target them. So let's just set the budget at, again, at $5 a day. This is another angle. You could do one or the other. I wouldn't do both of these. I just want to give you an idea. We're going to do the same thing here. We're going to zero it down to the zip code. And we'll drop a pin right here. We'll do that eight mile radius like we did last time. We'll do 25 to 55 once again. And in the targeting, we're going to type in birthday. So since it's in August, we're going to say birthday in August. Now this one's going to be a little different, obviously, now that, I, now that I'm doing this. You're going to have to create a new ad set each and every month. So this is people who have birthdays in August. As you can see, the potential reach here is 61,000 people. I think the last one was like 8,300, um, 8,000, 9,000 people, something along those lines. So obviously, we're going to target the whole month here. Um, so it's a little bit different targeting. We're going to do the same thing, edit placements. Uncheck all these boxes here. Whoops. Okay, yep, uncheck. I'm gonna leave that be, and then we're gonna go to the ads again over here in this uh, little square. And we are going to create an ad. Demo one, save to draft. We're going to select the page again. Birthday. There we go. Create an ad. Stock images. Actually, you know what? I have an image I uploaded. Uh, it's a couple drinks here. And again, the text right here. I actually have a demo one that I created. Um, it's a little bit different, so I'll just kind of show you, uh, share it here. Uh, but book your birthday celebration. So now these people have a little bit more lead time, I guess you could say, unless their birthday's at the very beginning of the month, then they don't. But book your birthday celebration with, with us in August between Monday through Thursday. You'll receive a complimentary cocktail for you and your guest. So it's just a little bit different angle, you know, if they need to plan it out maybe a little bit and get a party going. Again, with that other targeting with the upcoming birthdays, that's within seven days. So they don't have as much time to plan. So this one's a little bit different. So I would definitely recommend uh, 
testing both of them. Uh, I guess you could run both of them. Um, obviously, I would probably have different offers uh, just to kind of see what works. But again, that upcoming birthday is a set it and forget it, meaning you set up the ad and basically you can forget about it. I mean, maybe check in it on it a couple times a week, make sure it's doing all right. But you're going to know it's doing all right because people are going to be coming in saying, hey, I got the coupon code my birthday, you know, and then you look at their ID and okay, yeah, your birthday's this week, you know, and you don't want someone coming in in January reusing that uh, each and every month or each and every week. So that is how you can use if you're a restaurant, like I said, restaurant, bar, pub, uh, nightclubs, even any any type of retail, even dentist, chiropractor, uh, massage therapist could use this. Certainly a hair salon, a nail salon. Women would love that. Again, you probably just target women for those type of things. So that is how you can use birthday advertising with Facebook advertising. So, hey, if you have any questions, please post them down in the comments below. I'm here to help. Uh, I'm, I started re really ramping up my YouTube content. I've been in the digital marketing space for eight years, and my goal is to kind of just extract as much knowledge as I can and just kind of dump it all on YouTube to help everyone out market themselves more uh, efficiently, more effectively, and certainly more profitably online. So if you have a comment, please post below and please click the subscribe button. I'd really appreciate it. Thank you so much.